And we're live, everybody. Welcome to Five Minute Friday with Startup TNT. My name is Gloria Tom. I'm the local lead for Manitoba. And with me today, I have a really special guest, uh, CEO and founder of PolySense, uh, Mr. Matthew Gale. Matt, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is great. 100%. So let's jump right in here. Can you share a little bit with us about what is PolySense and what problem are you solving? Yeah, sure. So um, our mission at PolySense is just to simplify the operation of critical environments like laboratories, manufacturing facilities. Um, we just we provide a, a simple, universal way of allowing uh, our clients' equipment to talk to them, essentially. So uh, our solutions and our, our clients uh, you know, allow our clients to see like real-time health, usage history, and status of their entire facility from anywhere. So one example is uh, our Bolt system. So it's essentially a smart plug. Uh, it communicates with, um, it basically allows them to see real-time status uh, of their equipment, electrical usage of their equipment. Um, basically anything that uses electricity to work with. So it's machine agnostic. Um, yeah, that's essentially essentially what we do. And that's one of our products that we're launching. Um, we just launched actually last month. Well, I can see this being a really valuable thing for, um, for the med tech uh, community for sure. I'm curious, um, what kind of got you started wanting to go down the path of, of entrepreneurship and specifically why med tech? Um, yeah, I think I've, I've, I've always had like a, you know, the entrepreneurial, uh, bug, I guess. Um, I started my first business actually in 2016 with the goal of making, uh, inexpensive, um, high quality, uh, myoelectric prosthetics for kids. Um, and then that, I, that venture ultimately got me scooped up by, uh, the rehab center for children. So I shut down that venture at that point and, but I knew it'd be back to build something else. And, um, ultimately I wanted my business to somehow contribute to, um, you know, bettering human health. And, uh, but the further along that PolySense gets, I realized that, um, like our solutions can really help any industry, but, but, but due to my passion for this industry and the fact that they have, um, a lot of high value equipment that just makes sense to monitor that equipment, uh, just makes it a no brainer. Basically, that's that's kind of one of the some of the key drivers, I guess. Yeah, I really like that. Great answer. Yeah. As you kind of gone through this journey of building your company, how long have you been in business now, Matt, with PolySense? Well, I incorporated in, I guess, uh, late uh, 2018. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I was still, you know, it was still sort of building the product, building the hardware. And like yep. I didn't really jump into this. Like I quit my full time job about a year and a half ago, um, as a uh, focus on this, the focus on this. Yeah. So, so, you know, like I got my first big contract at that point, um, which de-risked, you know, quitting my stable government job to, to hop into this. And, but I knew, you know, I knew it was the right choice. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm still happy. I made that choice and not looking back. So, yeah, I think a lot of us, um, that have gone down that road of entrepreneurship, we can all kind of identify with that leaving something that was stable and safe to, to build something new, but it just keeps calling to you and you kind of got to follow that, uh, follow that call. Yeah. Um, no, hundred percent. Curious. What are some of the, if you could give us just an idea of, you know, one or two really important lessons that you've learned as you've been building PolySense. Is there anything that's been a big surprise to you or is there any lessons that sort of stand out? Um, <clears throat> I would say, yeah, two, two, probably like number one is perfection is your enemy. I think that's probably a million people have probably said that and like, you know, in the, the startup community, but I mean, I, I know personally from starting out, I'm still fighting that every day is that, you know, you want to, you want to release something that you're super proud of and it's perfect and nobody has anything bad to say about it and it works. And like, that's the, the goal, right. But you'll never, it's very difficult to get there. Right. And I think you just have to get it out the door and let people try it and be, be embarrassed about it. But you know, that's how you're going to get feedback and that's how you're going to go the right direction ultimately. Cause what you end up doing is building all these features that, you know, you're like, Oh, these are great. Everyone's going to use these. And then nobody uses them. They actually wanted this because yeah, you waited, you, you perfected it, you know? And so I think yeah, that's progression that's over perfection, right? Yeah. Over perfection. And, and I would say number two is asking questions instead of, you know, I, I think, again like when I first started out I think I really wanted to show people what I built and get to the demo and be like you know like look what I made here check it out look at all these features but really what you want to do is like ask them questions ask your customers questions and like you know get them to give you feedback and you learn so much more by just listening than 
than sort of, uh, you know, telling them what you've built. And I think that's a big thing too. Those are really, really key points. Yeah. Appreciate you sharing that for sure. So cool. kind of last question to wrap things up here, just to talk about um, last night, we had the very first ever top 20 pitch night um, starting our inaugural investment summit in Manitoba. You pitched, you saw mm -hmm. the crowd and the community come out. What did you think of the event? And where do you think Startup TNT fits into the Manitoba ecosystem? Yeah, last night was amazing. I think anyone who can who was there can attest to that. It was so great to see everybody out. And uh, yeah, like this, I, I mean, I can't speak too much to the startup scene prior to COVID because I, I got into it kind of mid-COVID. But um, yep. I know, you know, when we were out in Alberta and Saskatchewan and seeing what everybody was doing out there with Startup TNT, we we're like, why? We got to do this in Winnipeg. And, and now that it's actually sort of coming together, um, bringing everybody together, I think is like this sense of community is just um, so, so important. And I, I think, uh, you know, access to capital is also very difficult in Manitoba. So this is going to be a huge step in that direction, but I think just startup TNT is just such a great, you know, catalyst for so many great things to come and just getting everybody together and, uh, you know, sharing wins and losses together and yeah. you know, exchanging, you know, war stories. And, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Having that community things. around you, Having that community around you as an entrepreneur, I think, is really, really vital. And knowing you have a place to go every week um, to, to share those war stories you were talking about. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Matt. Really appreciate it. How can people find you and your website? Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. Um, it's great to be here. Uh, so find us on, on LinkedIn um, by searching Polysense Solutions or myself, Matthew Gale. Um, our website is polysensesolutions.com. Um, yeah, reach out. You have any uh any questions about what we're doing and yeah be great to chat fantastic thanks, thanks me. absolutely have a great thanksgiving weekend yeah you too take care take care bye-bye